Hit it, dude. Welcome to the studio today. I am Taylor Jackson, and I am here to do some self-portraits of just myself in this space. And how big is this studio? Like 300 square feet? I'm not an architect. I have a tripod to take my self-portraits, and I have the Canon R with a super wide-angle lens, the 15 to 35, which I'm quite a fan of. How this video is going to work is right now, we are going to be taking all the images, and then at the end, we're gonna be editing them all in Luminar 4, and we're gonna use the artificial intelligence of Luminar 4 to make my life a heck of a lot easier. Let's get to the self-portraits, shall we? I think first, we're gonna have to bring back a character that hasn't, hasn't been here in quite some time, and that is, Business coach. I'm a business coach. Yeah. Not a tennis coach. No. Not a tennis coach. There we go. We're halfway there. Yeah. I'm a business coach. Look at the bag. It's coach. Yuck. Not a tennis coach. And now you might be saying to yourself, well, you got the windbreaker, you got the headband, but where's the racket? When you ready, give it a serve, baby. Not me. Oh. Here we go. I feel like the usual go-to pose is something like this. Business coach, I'm not a tennis coach. I'm a business coach. I'm not a tennis coach. No. But I do teach some tennis on the weekends. Where should I be though? All right, because we don't really have a tennis background here, I'm gonna call my friend Marshall and ask him if he has any photos from, he was in Wimbledon, what, like last September? Sadly, I forgot my beautiful Peak Design tripod at home. So I'm using, this is my, my grandfather's tripod. The reason I'm using the Canon R is because it has this front facing screen. It's, um, it's quite helpful. Rather than, you could, if you're on any other system, you could just use the app and you could take the photos of yourself. But I prefer to just set up the scene and then set the timer and then, then run into the scene. So right now what I'm looking for is just a full body photo of myself from what I would suspect to be kind of a normal height. So if I'm a, a person in a scene taking a photo, what's a, what's a tennis pose like? Something like this? Is that a tennis pose? Yeah, I see. Okay. All right, let's set this 10 second timer. All right, how's that look? That looks pretty nice. Do a few more variations and uh, pick the best one. My settings, one slash 200th of a second, which means I can't do a jumping serve because it just blurs out. But uh, I think we got what we needed. We're gonna move on to the next, the next self-portrait. Still here. Great. Business coach revived one last time. Now the next self-portrait that I see happening a lot that I've never actually had one is always, I don't know why, why is there always a ladder? I guess it's because it's a functional piece of item. Like there's always a ladder in a studio and it's always a black and white portrait, sideways vertical of leaning up against the ladder. So we're gonna do that one next. Usually it's a wooden ladder. I feel like the texture, it's, it's more homey and brings in a different vibe, but I think a metal ladder in black and white like this. All right, here we are loading up the 43D3. Tane. What does Tane wear? Vertical mode. Here we go, 10 second shutter time. Focus point on the ladder. I think the most important photograph ever taken is the photograph of a Pop-Tart on the front of the Pop-Tarts, the blueberry one. Oh, wear the green shirt that I've worn. The last a, eight a days. thousand <laughs> videos. <laughs> one thousand videos. It's a very nice shirt. It's a good shirt. <laughs> Some remarkable footage. It's pretty good. <laughs> Another self-portrait that's actually super useful that I have very, very few of is just a normal kind of everyday photo that you can use as a headshot. Uh, I don't know why I don't have many of those. Everything that I have is very specific to kind of a look or um, a creative photo, and I don't have a whole lot of just regular boring ones. So let's do a regular boring one um, with some good window light here, I think. It's me. Last photo here, we're actually gonna be using two lights. So we're gonna do a little, little bicolor lighting and it's going to be a blue light and a purple light. 
it's gonna be on my face, but we're gonna have to go somewhere maybe a little bit darker. And I'm gonna kind of find a spot right about here and try to be just off camera enough. I think that'll work out all right. And we're gonna go down to something like one slash 200th of a second, so we don't have to go too high on the ISO. Set that self timer. All right, so these lights, they are the Godox R1s, and essentially they're just RGB lights, so you can make them whatever color you want, and there's also some patterns if you wanna make them strobe. You can do whatever. They're very cool and very useful for wedding days. As you can see, this is some pretty good light from just a single light source here. I can turn this guy off. Um, if you're in a situation where everything's just kind of dark and you just need that extra light, this is a pretty good job. And they come, they look like this little hockey puck, but then they come with a little magnetic adapter here. And then they make this little, this little soft snowball, soft snowball of light. Now we are going to get into editing in Luminar 4. So join me on my computer. To, to go through these photos and see the see the photos that you've already seen, but to see how we get there from the straight to camera versions. Do 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 do. That's my my sports introduction. Here we are now to actually edit this image here. I am going to begin, I think, just with the, the AI image enhancer and not even the AI portrait enhancer. Um, I think that that is already doing really a fantastic job. So I'm going to come down here, the little, little face button. Um, and I'm going to come into AI skin enhancer and I'm going to make my skin a heck of a lot better And I'm also going to remove the little little dot. Where is it? It's on one of one of these sides that I have right there And I'm going to see if the AI skin defects actually removes it on its own. Whoa Just just disappears. so you can batch that across Everything so if you shot a hundred portraits in this scenario with with myself as, as business coach uh, you could sync that across and, and just solve all of that just going in and editing and um, specifically if you're somebody that shoots a lot of volume like that or shoots school photos or shoots uh, dance portraits I have a few friends that do kind of those dance competitions and they'll go through thousands of images in a day and they have to edit and um, some of them remove backgrounds and all kinds of crazy things but with this you can just make everybody's skin look nice and good very easy so AI skin enhancer I need a lot of help and zooming in as you can see already looking really really fantastic so AI skin remover. Wow, it did a significant amount. Look at look at how different that is. From the beginning to that, looking a lot better already. One day, one day I'll make it as a male tennis model. All right, so I'm already very happy with that photo. I'm gonna come down here into the AI portrait enhancer and I don't need any face light. Um, I might add a little eye whitening. Going to eye enhancer as well. Uh, basically what this does is it's going to just really kind of fine-tune my eyes as you can see um, that it's gonna basically give it as much three-dimensionality as it kind of can uh, but still keeping it natural it's not gonna look like those like crazy overprocessed apps that um, really just kind of that you can tell have been edited that looks pretty good and again we're zoomed in but from a distance this is kind of what it looks like and I think that overall that it really brings a lot of good attention to my eyes. So I am very happy with this image overall to give you a quick before and after. That's what it began with, looking looking pretty harsh and grizzly. If that's the look you wanna go for and you wanna kinda of amp up the, the texture, you definitely can do that. You can go the opposite way with everything I'm kinda of showing you here um, by adding texture and grain. But this, just a few subtle enhancements to make, to make your business coach, not a tennis coach, Going into the latter self-portrait, this was supposed to be a black and white image. First, I'm going to crop it just to kind of make it exactly what I had in mind, which is something maybe a little more kind of like that. Maybe bring the floor up a little bit. I think that's pretty, pretty all right by me. Um, and I forgot to straighten it when I was cropping in there. There we go. Perfect. A beautiful, a beautiful start to the image. Uh, I'm... I envision this being a black and white, so uh, I'm gonna click the black and white and see how that looks. And I'm pretty happy with that to begin with. Uh, as you can see, there's some, some elements in the background that I would like to remove, as well as my face kind of got a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little bit more face light just to my face, as you can see it brightens up there. If you wanted to, in Essentials here, you could come in and you could do your black and white conversion just manually and set it up exactly as you want, but to my eyes, that looks that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm actually going to go to erase and I'm gonna get rid of all of these elements that I don't really want to be part of the scene. And here we go. Erase that, erase, erase you, erase you, and maybe that. That's all I want to disappear. 
and I will just make it disappear. It's, it's very accurate and very good to just know what it should put in there um, over top of what actually exists in real life. And there you go. Everything is now gone. Honestly, I'm pretty happy. This is kind of what I had in mind with this, this kind of traditional portrait, black and white with a ladder um, that I've seen over and over again. And if I wanted to, I could sync my settings to these other beautiful versions of the ladder. Um, I would say that the original is maybe a little more, a little more professional looking. And if, if I saw that, I'd be like, <laughs> another ladder photo. Why, why is Taylor posing with the ladder? But then I'd see this one and I would be impressed with, with this person's uh, skills of, of climbing, climbing skills. Moving on to the more boring image of just, just my face and smiling and facing the camera. Um, I'm going to go into the portrait looks here and I am going to begin with the AI face enhancer and we're gonna see just what that one button click does because I guarantee it's gonna make my face look a heck of a lot better and it does. So that one button click is already looking a heck of a lot better. We'll go a little zoom in here this is the after and the before as you can see it still looks natural this is 100% preview as well like you, you never really look at something of this size unless you're printing it and it looks really great like I'm, I'm very happy with that and if you're interested as I showed before you can use the AI skin defects removal and it'll remove all the little red dots from you um, and you can batch that across so um, as you can see very simply already a much better image and I'm Quite honestly, pretty happy with that overall. Like, I don't really need to, to go beyond that. I feel like it's important to, to know what final images should kind of look like and they should still have real life to them. And I feel like this does and, and I'm pretty happy overall with it. All right, so moving into our last image for the day here. This is the by lighting setup. Two of those little Godox uh, R1s and one is on purple, one is on blue. And I'm going to use the AI face enhancer, but I'm also going to be adding saturation back to this photo because I know that it's, it's a, a very unusual photo uh, for to try to interpret what's going on really. And I'm gonna come down here to color and I'm just gonna add a little bit of vibrance. Um, I find that adding vibrance is usually the way that I go rather than adding saturation. And I would say that's starting to look pretty good already. I'm happy with my skin in this photo. As you can see, it understands what a face is even though I have this crazy colored lighting on my face and it just makes it look a lot more professional very very quickly so I'm gonna crop in so you can't see that I'm just holding the lights here this looks pretty good I should have shot this in vertical format but we didn't so I'm, I'm making it in vertical format now I'm gonna dial this back just a little bit and I'm gonna enlarge my eyes just a little bit Something like that, I'm pretty happy with. That's a very easy one or two click solution to create an image of that style. If we had more lights, we would have lit up the background and made it look a heck of a lot better. But um, for a simple self-portrait of holding both of the lights and also controlling the 10 second timer, I'm pretty happy overall with what we did. Thanks for watching today and I hope that you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting Luminar 4, there is a trial, a seven day trial in the description below. You can get it and, and try it out with all your photos. Uh, with portraits in normal lighting conditions, this is a little crazy, but in normal lighting conditions, it really just makes all of your images look a heck of a lot more professional with one or two clicks, um, as well as kind of some fine tuned adjustments to get your exact look dialed in. Um, and you can also save your looks and you can just easily apply them and batch them across the board. And as I mentioned specifically to the blemish removal uh, at the beginning here, uh, that this was, uh, it, it knows that there's a little red dot here that it wanted to make disappear and, and it went and did it. And if you can sync that across, like if you're photographing a wedding and the groom has a little dot like I had there and it just makes it all disappear, it's gonna save you literally hours of work. So uh, try it out. For landscapes, it's amazing. For portraits, it's amazing. And we are going to be getting to a few more kind of just general shots next week with uh, Luminar 4. But thanks for watching and uh, I hope that you enjoyed. And don't forget to hit that seven day trial in the description below. Hello.